Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my first ever regular Game Battles Master Strike Zone live commentary. We're going to be facing SMD Gifted. He is a premium member without an MLG rank, so my guess is this is he's a restart account, which is basically he has a much better uh, primary account and he either just completely wanted to start over or this is just a second account of his. So this guy should be a pretty good match and I suck at Strike Zone, so we're going to be seeing how I do on him against this. So right now I'm just watching Skybridge in the stairs, see if he pushes either of them. But I'm practicing this map for tourneys, and once I feel that I'm comfortable with this map, that's where I'm going to begin to do some more tourneys yet again. But nothing has popped up yet. I'm going to go ahead and plant the bomb, and I'm going to sit in the very back corner of the map. Would prefer an AR for this, but... I don't got one out right now, so kind of gotta move over a bit here so I can bomb sim symbols not in the way. All right, so we identified where this guy was, and we got a nice gunfight win right there. Basically, my goal was to kind of flee, but at the same time make sure we cover if he's pushing us. Like I said, I probably shouldn't even bother going there unless I have an AR, because if I had an AR. Most likely he's going to have a submachine gun, so I would easily be able to outgun him with that. So I wouldn't even need to leave the spot like I did right there, but that's alright. It happens, it happens, it happens, it happens. So my strat for this is just going to be watching those stairs. He hasn't popped up. He's not on Skybridge. I'm just going to go ahead and push the flank right off the bat. This guy goes for a rush plant, but he's probably going to try pro shop. But he doesn't believe he's done that. I right, said so he's not in pro shop. And we get a hot pick on him right there. He must have been in the corner. I, I was thinking to myself, as I'm pushing over this way, I should really check that corner. Because the corner I'm thinking of is right up there in the top corner right there. Excellent job, Ghost. But yeah, we're off to a good start. A nice 2 0 lead. I don't think I've ever been up 2 0 on Strike Zone before. <laughs> Even against facing my friends. Well, actually, yes, I have. I lied. Against face. Just scrimming around with this map, I have gone up 2 0. But I haven't gone up 2 0 in an actual GB match. But we're going to be going with this infamous spot. You guys saw me use uh, using the tourney. If you guys watched that at all. And basically, what I'm doing is. I believe I just. Yeah, I did see him. And that's a hot spot, boys. Um, I suggest you use that. I learned that right when I was just going over the map itself. And basically what I'm doing, as you're going to see in the kill cam that's about to show up, I'm literally looking, looking through on the top right of your screen, the crack in the ladder. And you can see I saw him rotate across the sky bridge so that allows me to know that he's there. And at the same time, if somebody pushes my spawn, they're most likely going to get right behind me. But they're probably not even going to see my body because you wouldn't expect a body just to be like stuck in the side of a truck. So that's pretty much my method with that. And we're going to do the same thing with the first round because this did work out. Highly doubt this guy's going to rush plant B again, but we'll, we'll see what this guy wants to do. Right, this time I'm going to push up on the sky bridge. Alright. So I'm just going to sit in this corner and we're going to see if this guy moves around the map at all. Because whenever I move around this map, I get picked. But this dude did take some kind of long route around here but we got a quick draw, we gotta take quick draw into account always check your corners see if he's laying prone in here he could have been right behind me there, it's kind of a 50-50 chance, this is why I hate this map so much Let's go! He just choked when he had nine seconds. Let's go! How does he choke that? All he has to do is pop his head away. He doesn't need to kill me. He just needs to stall another two seconds. And he chokes. Let's go, boys. This time, I'm going to be doing another different route. I'm just going to break that window, see if he's out there. Didn't get a stun. Now I'm just going to lay... Now that he knows I stunned that, typically when you would stun that, you'd push right through. 
That's what most people do. So I'm going to think that he's thinking that. So I'm going to assume he's going to go on my flank and try to get behind me. And that's exactly what I'm watching. So basically all I'm watching is see if he's... And this dude checks. But there's... if he, he ran all the way around the statue. And all we were checking is seeing if he like rotated throughout my back spawn at all. But this dude... You know, I, you can only see so much with this spot, I'm afraid. Um, it's just a, a, a little, like, test spot, I guess. You know, I, I might want to adjust my position a bit more in the future. And maybe, you know, even b considering standing up, because obviously, he did exactly what I thought he would do, except it didn't work out for me. So for this spot, I'm seeing if he pushes the middle at the same time, I'm looking right underneath that blue tarp, you can see. Right there, I'm looking right underneath that. And seeing if he pushes out from the sky bridge or he pushes middle. Which doesn't look like he did either. I think he brought into Pro Shop. I'm gonna go check Pro Shop real quick if he's not in here. Right, he's probably gonna pop out the sky bridge doing a lap. But if he pops out sky bridge, I don't think he'll be able to kill me at this angle, so we're gonna take that risk. I think I should be able to get this off, to be honest. Bomb and we are exactly right. I don't know where the guy went, to be honest. Job, I'm very, very confident he went to Pro Shop. I highly doubt he would have went back spawn. Just, just by the way, I heard the bomb. Like, I'm pretty sure he dragged it to Pro Shop, and I'm, I, I think he ran a lap all around in the entire map, which is why I was able to get that ninja off. But we got a hot six-one lead on this guy. I'm gonna go to my spot because this guy has run my flank twice. Once I've killed him, and the other time he's gotten a kill on me. So I'm going to see if we can get another uh, shot on him here. Catch him running my flank, or we can also see if he pops out the sky bridge. Which I wouldn't be surprised if he does either. Alright. So I'm not going to go to that spot. Oh, damn, this dude's right behind me. Where was he? Oh, he must have saw me move. That's interesting. Yeah, he must have saw me move out of my spot. He m must have been like, right next to me. Something like that. Oh, well. Alright, let's see. Um, I guess I'll go with the route that I've been doing throughout most of this time. Just seeing if he pushes A. And he does exactly that. And we get a hot shot on him with our host. This is map one of face in SD gifted on my worst map that I've actually never won before in public uh, game battles. So this is a great victory considering it also was a 6-2 win as well. Not even a close game. We absolutely demolished this guy. Hope you guys enjoy my first ever strike zone public match game battles. If you guys want more, make sure you comment down below and like the video. I do appreciate it. And also, I love all the support you guys have been giving me. It helps me out a lot. And remember, this algorithm guys more likes equals more videos just keep that in mind i'll catch you guys later